It's not a ball, it's a lemon. Good morning everyone. Today is Wednesday. So what that means for me is that coaching and co-working club is on. Let me change the angle because my arm is already hurting. I'm obviously not used to this vlogging malarkey. Every Wednesday, I host the Coaching Co-working Club. This is a free Zoom meetup for female entrepreneurs who basically are craving some connection. They want to connect with other business owners, other women that have businesses and that can relate to the, the challenges and the ups and downs of running a business. And what we do is on rotation, one week I provide a guided co-working session where we go in, we use the Pomodoro technique and we spend two 25 minute slots really focusing on one particular task. We have a break in between, have a bit of a chit chat, and then we go again. And so we did that last week. This week we are having a coaching session. So this is more of like a group coaching session slash workshops. Now it's about 20 to 10. I'm going to prep for that workshop and I'll see you after. I have just finished inside the coaching co-working club. That was such a fun session to host. It actually went over. I am very bad with timekeeping. I love to talk. <laughs> now I need to regroup, figure out what else I'm working on today. So today is a non-coaching day for me, which means a lot of behind the scenes stuff. I might film some more YouTube videos. So I'm probably gonna go through my to-do list have a think about what I want to focus on today, write some priorities and then take it from there. When it comes to my to-do list, I'm trialing something new. I used to just write my three top priorities and then if I got through them, then I would do whatever else I have had time to do that day. But I'm currently trying a different system. So what I do is I write all of the things I want to get done and if I get them done, I tick them with a green tick and if I don't get them done that day, then they are moved on to the next day until they get done. So that I don't forget anything on my list of to-dos. But what I have to make sure I do on the actual day is to prioritize them. So I will look at the long list, which can sometimes be overwhelming, and I will decide, okay, what are the top three things I am going to focus on, and then the rest I will get to if I've got time. This is working well for me, just because it means that if I think um, about doing something, I can write it down on the list, and even if I don't have that time to do it that day, it will just get moved along my week until it becomes a priority, or it becomes urgent, or I have the time to do it. So it's working quite well for me and I love ticking things off and I love using the green and the red. It really highlights anything that I haven't been doing. And what I do at the end of the week is I also review each day. And if a task keeps being moved from Monday to Tuesday to Wednesday to Thursday to Friday, I will ask myself, okay, am I procrastinating on this? If so, why? What's the reason for that? If not, you know, what's taking me so long to get this task done? But yeah, that's what I'm using at the moment for my to-do list and to keep me proactive. And it's been working really well for me. Okay, so one of the things on my to-do list today is to create four reels for my Instagram account. I am trying to batch create my reels and to do five at a time so that I know I have one for each day, Monday to Friday. So what I'll do first is I will come up with some ideas and I'm currently doing a bit of a series which is focused around confidence. So they are confidence tips specifically for business owners. So I'm gonna come up with five different ideas of five more confidence tips. I'm then gonna write the outline of what I want to say in each one and then I'm gonna film them and find some cool music for the background, which has been working quite nice to kind of overlap the um, background music, trending music, ideally. And then I'm going to make the covers for them and just save them in my draft.
so I've just finished filming five different reels. I'll show you. As you can see, I've got five reels in my drafts and now I just need to go through the process of basically editing them, adding the text, creating the covers and yeah, scheduling them, which it's annoying. You can't really schedule reels still. I mean, you can get a reminder, I think through later now, um, but I don't, I just post them each and every day. So hopefully something will come out soon where you can actually pre-schedule them because that would save me a lot of time. I'm just working here with my little companion. He doesn't really leave me. He's very needy. Monty's a lot more independent. Jaspi likes to be wherever me or Dennis are, um, which is cute. I mean, he's very cuddly. Very cuddly. And this is his chair. He sits, he sits there. And keeps me company. It's about 4.30 p.m. now and the dogs are definitely bored and ready for some playtime again. I am basically doing the back end of YouTube so I have three videos that I've batch created and edited and uploaded. Now I just need to do the description, the tags and yes, yeah, schedule them in for the month of May. So hopefully my content will be scheduled in well ahead of time. So I should be more consistent going forward. <laughs> Famous last words, we shall see. But that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm probably going to take a break, um, make some dinner. My husband's gonna come back from work. Sorry, that's really loud. Someone's got like a, I don't know what, very loud car or very loud bike. Anyway, my husband's gonna come back probably gonna have some dinner and I might be working late tonight just because I've got quite a few things that I want to be working on and I'm in the mood for it, so. So it is currently half past six and normally I wouldn't be working at this time. I would be getting dinner ready, but I really want to outline my new group coaching program that is coming up probably next month, if not the one after. And I'm just in the mood, you know, I'm in, I'm in the zone. So what I'm doing is I'm literally writing out the sales page content for the program and going through things like who is it for? What problems does it specifically solve? What solution does it provide? What do you get? Specific features, etc., etc. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then once I've done that, I will probably walk to Tesco, pick up some stuff for dinner and then come back, have some dinner and relax for the rest of the evening. Veronica, I'm adding this bit into the video because in the end I went out and I wasn't brave enough to do a vlog in public. <laughs> to be honest, I completely forgot. I'm still not in the, you know, routine of taking my camera out and it's been a couple of weeks since I filmed that video. If you like this kind of content, if you like to see the behind the scenes and, you know, chattier videos where I'm just going about my business and showing you what I do, then um, let me know in the comments or give the video a thumbs up so that I'm getting the feedback from you and it makes it easier for me to know what kind of content you guys enjoy because at the end of the day, I'm making this for you. I would love to hear some suggestions from you of what you would like to see and I hope to see you in a future vlog. Bye.